Good morning, everybody. Linda here. I have titled this prophetic word, Deliverance after Deliverance. When is it going to end? If you have been going through deliverance after deliverance for a long period of time, and it feels as if it's just never going to come to an end, then this word is for you. The Lord is saying that He is taking you on a journey of deliverance and purifying. Yes, the journey is long and hard, but walk with me, says the Lord, and I will lead you into your promised land. Hold on to the promises I gave you. I have plans for you that you know not of, and I never make a promise that is too good. To be true. I cannot break a promise I made to you. I am holy and I am not a man that I should lie. Numbers 23 19. Your promise will come to pass, but I need you to stop trying to figure it out by yourself and just listen and trust me. I am taking you through deliverance after deliverance because I want to make sure that there is nothing in you which the enemy can latch onto. I need you to run unhindered by the God of this world system, Satan. Satan is the God of this world. In order for you to fulfill my plan that I have for your life, don't listen to the lies of the enemy. The enemy is trying to tell you that I don't care and that I don't love you that much. But my plan is to prosper you and not to harm you. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. And therefore, I cannot deliver you all at once from everything you need to get freed from because you will not be able to endure and I need you to endure to the end so that I can bring you to the time and place where I can fully utilize all the gifts and the anointings which I am birthing through you. Matthew 24, 13 But the one who endures and bears up under suffering to the end will be delivered and saved. It takes time, my child, but I will make an end to your suffering once I completed the work I need to do within you. Exodus 23 verses 27 to 30 I will send my fear ahead of you and throw into confusion every nation that's the enemy. In the Bible, where it speaks about a nation which is not God's nation, which is not the Israelis, prophetically, in today's modern terms, symbolically, the word nation stands for the enemy. It's a thing that comes against you. In the Old Testament, the Lord often used the pagan nations to come against God's people to punish them, to give them direction, to get them to turn back to God and to repent of their wrongdoings. So the Lord is saying, let's start from verse 27 again. I will send my fear ahead of you and throw into confusion every nation, every enemy you encounter. I will make all your enemies turn their backs and run. Now, the Lord is not only speaking about your physical enemies. Remember, our fight is not against flesh and blood. The Lord is speaking about your demonic enemies, the spirits that come against you in the spiritual realm. Principalities powers, the rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. The Lord is speaking about the demonic powers 
which had been opposing you, oppressing you, tried to intimidate you, tormented you. The spirits that are coming against the calling which the Lord has placed upon your life. Those are your enemies. I will send hornets before you to drive out the Hivites, Canaanites and Hittites. These are the demonic powers that come against you. I will drive them out from before you. But I will not drive them out in a single year because the land would become desolate and the wild beasts, the demonic spirits, the wild beasts prophetically means the demonic spirits will become too numerous for you. Little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. I can't ever stop loving you. I am love. 1 John 4, 16 Don't listen to the voice of the enemy. Satan is the great deceiver and he is trying to prevent you from walking in victory and prosper in all that I have planned for you. I see your suffering, my child, says the Lord, but I will give you victory and I will keep you from falling. Just walk with me. I am maturing you. I am strengthening you and I am equipping you. The journey is not over yet, but it will end soon. I need you to be patient. My presence and counsel have caused you to rise above tests, trials and difficulties in time past. And so shall it be in the future too. I will always give your body periods of rest. You will not be overwhelmed. What you have walked through will not only benefit you, but all those who come under the anointing that I am activating in you for my children. I will give you victory. You will overcome because my blood is testifying on your behalf. I died on the cross so that you can triumph. James 1.4 And let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. My beloved brother or sister, who the Lord led to listen to this prophetic word, I pray that this word will bless you and give you the courage to not give up and to not get discouraged, but to endure with the Lord, so that you will step into all that the Lord has for you and prosper and be blessed in abundance. Praise God. I love you all. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.